This video demonstrates how easily the Kalsi high pressure wash pipe assembly goes together. The assembly incorporates our patented seal and backup ring technology. These technologies allow the assembly to operate at more than 7500 PSI. The unit we are assembling today has two pressure stages and an easy to assemble stacked housing arrangement. We begin with the second stage housing. The first and second stage housings each have a backup ring and O-rings that define fluid paths and hydraulic areas. These two O-rings define a hydraulic area that is substantially equal to the sealed area of the rotary seal. This produces equal and opposite hydraulic forces that cancel one another. As a result, the backup ring can move laterally to accommodate shaft runout and deflection. As explained in more detail in our seal handbook, this and other features allow the backup ring to have minimal clearance with the shaft. This small clearance maximizes the pressure capacity of the seals. An anti-rotation pin prevents the backup ring from spinning with the shaft. This pin engages a mating recess in the housing. These small O-rings conduct pressure between the housings. Their small size minimizes hydraulic area, which minimizes the load on the screws that hold the assembly together. The second stage rotary seal is installed into a recess located in the first stage bulkhead. The first and second stage seals have a plastic lining for maximum pressure capacity. This bolt head protrudes from the first stage housing and serves as an indexing pin. It engages a mating pocket in the second stage housing to control angular alignment of the fluid ports that communicate between housings. Pilot surfaces maintain concentricity between housings. Because of the short pilot length, it is impossible to bind the housings when they are stacked. As with the second stage housing, this first stage housing also incorporates O-rings and a backup ring. As with the second stage housing, a pair of O-rings defines a force balancing area on the first stage backup ring. This face sealing O-ring seals between the first stage housing and the upper housing. As with the interface between the first and second stage housings, small O-rings are used to seal fluid passageways between the upper and first stage housings. Here, the technician is installing the anti-rotation pin in the floating backup ring. Then, the technician tilts the backup ring to engage the anti-rotation pin in its mating recess in the first stage housing. This is the upper housing. It incorporates the first stage rotary seal and a partitioning seal. We begin by installing the partitioning seal, which separates the abrasive drilling fluid from the seal lubricant. The extra wide seal is our most capable partitioning seal and has a proven track record in the field. The first stage plastic line Kalsi seal is installed into a recess located on the lower side of the upper housing. This bolt head mates with a pocket in the upper housing to control angular alignment of the fluid ports that communicate between housings. The short pilot feature is again utilized. Screws secure the first and second stage housings to the upper housing. The screws are sized to withstand hydraulic thrust loads and the preload necessary to prevent housing separation. The housings were designed in accordance with Section 8, Division 2 of the ASME Boiler Pressure Vessel Code. The assembly has been hydrostatically pressure tested in accordance with API 6. Each pressure stage of the wash pipe assembly has a 7500 psi dynamic sealing capacity. See our 1000 hour 7500 psi rotary seal test YouTube video. Chapter C16 of our handbook summarizes testing performed with the plastic line seal and floating backup ring. Once the housing assembly is complete, a high viscosity lubricant is applied to the inside diameter of the three Kalsi seals. Lubricant is also applied to the exterior of the wash pipe. This makes it easier to insert the wash pipe through the rotary seals.
The housing assembly mates up with the gooseneck and spindle of the top drive. This is accomplished using adapters that thread onto the gooseneck and spindle. The lubricant system can be designed to stage the drilling fluid pressure across each plastic line calci seal, or the lubricant system can be designed so that one of the plastic line seals is redundant. See Chapter E4 of our handbook for more details on our high-pressure wash pipe assembly. For all questions and inquiries, call 281-240-6500 or go to www.calci.com.